behind them coming at lap 256. And, and again, these two guys can get into each other and lift, and then you got a guy in the second row that's going to have a run that can take them both on. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is going to be pretty cool to see what happens here. David Rudiman and that team have put themselves in position. It's, it's like Zipidelli said, you've got to put yourself in position in the last part of the race. And Rudiman and two or three of these guys like uh, Brad and, and Kenseth and those guys have put themselves. Newman's back up there. Two laps to go, but this is not a green-white checker. We are still in regulation. Kyle Busch, the race leader, Jimmy Johnson right beside him, trying to muscle up and make it happen. Hey, what? Ryan Newman going low around Brad Keselowski, and there's Johnson on the inside for the race lead. And Kyle's just got a great run getting off of two. He's got the momentum right there, but boy, Jimmy Johnson had a good restart. And um, uh, Ryan Newman had a great restart to make it three back. You see the, the left front. Uh, of, of the 22 S sparking going down the back stretch. Here they are three Boy, wide in the corner here. Matt is still struggling on these restarts. He goes wide and high. He's going to have a couple guys going underneath him. One lap to go. Kyle Busch the race lead. Johnson and Rudeman right in his hip pocket. Kyle Busch has been strong all night long. It, this is, as you look back, here's Carl Edwards up here. Here's there's Jeff Gordon right behind these guys. These guys have come from nowhere to be in this race. And Kyle Busch going to be the first to put his name on the trophy at Kentucky. He leads coming to the checkers. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Good job, David Rudiman. Woohoo! Way to go, Dave Rogers. How about that, Great job. There will never be a inaugural winner at Kentucky. Great job, Kyle Busch. Great job, guys. Thank you for all your work. That's a, a great job by the 18 team. They did a great job tonight. His car, from the time, whether it was hot and slick, whether it was the guys. Whether it's grip, yeah. they were the guys to beat all night. Like, yeah. even though the two car of, of Brad Keselowski ran up front, these were the guys that had the total package. But you got to give a shout out. There's so many guys. Yeah, Newman, from Edwards, Rudiman, Newman, all those Gordon, guys. Stewart, Kane, these Reagan. guys. Fall back. Yeah. It's incredible how these guys were so many that a lap down at different times and fall back. It's been it may not have been the most exciting race, but the strategy played out. And in the end, a lot of guys salvaged something out of this. And on the other end of the spectrum, Kurt Busch fades to ninth at the end. And on the restart, I wouldn't have been surprised to see him get after it and go I, to victory lane. I just think Kurt lost a handle on that car about 50, 60, 70 laps ago. And I, I, they just didn't have it. Guys like Jeff Gordon lapped down not too long ago. Good finish. Kyle Busch started at the rear after missing the drivers' meeting Friday night. Rallied to the front, won the Truck Series race. Wrecked his primary car in qualifying yesterday for nationwide competition. Started at the back in a backup. Came to the field to finish third. Tonight he started on the pole, and he gets his third win of the year. It's the 22nd of his career. The inaugural winner here at Kentucky, Kyle Busch. And he took him behind the woodshed the night. Light him up and enjoy the moment. We're going to Victory Lane when we return. The post-race show coming up. You're watching NASCAR on TNT.